there was a very early idea that we would need a map to orient the audience within the fictional worlds of westeros and essos. but we started talking about the need for grounding the series geographically because it's a fantasy series. these are places we don't know. so if we were going to do a map, why not do the coolest map anyone's ever seen? rosenberg we think it's going to be helpful at the beginning of every hour to be able to see where everybody is in relationship to everybody else. the idea is to help the viewer understand the geography of where all this stuff is happening. we didn't want to do the traditional thing where it's a parchment map and it's flat. we really wanted to do something very different and very elaborate and complex that sort of mirrors how complex this world is that we're representing in the title sequence. what we wanted to do was create something different than we've seen before so that when people turned on the TV and started watching the show, they were transported to somewhere else. Everything was really based on the fictional world of Game of Thrones. We knew there were some really important families and houses that this first season sort of covered. The design of all the buildings, the design of the terrain, this all comes out of the world of the show. The uh, art department from the series sent us a lot of their concept art and, and visual reference and stuff. Knowing how authentic everything in the actual series needed to be, we felt that we had to match the authenticity of the series in our title sequence. The initial idea was, we'll build something in the computer that looks like it's the real thing. If we had our druthers, we would have loved to build the whole thing and just shot it. We wanted everything to feel handcrafted. Everything we're doing is very organic, so it's all woods and weathered kind of materials. We sampled metals we sampled, leather we sampled, different woods. We wanted to make the map seem like it was built by these mad monks in a monastery someplace. The first time we saw the first mock-up of one, it looked so much like a real model that we wondered if some team of guys with like jigsaws and balsa wood, like hard at work building miniatures. The shape of this world is an inverted globe. The world is not actually on the outside of the sphere, it's on the inside of the sphere. It's its own little universe. In the center of it all, if you looked up, what we see as the sun is this giant astrolabe, right? This huge sort of orbiting bands with this like core made out of glass that's on fire. There are these bands that contain depictions of all the biggest historic events that happened here. And I thought it would be, you know, a great climactic moment if the actual title was revealed in a sort of eclipse within the astrolabe. We wanted to have these locations be mechanical. They sort of emerged out of the surface of the map. A big influence for us there was Leonardo da Vinci, his robots and the mechanics of the things that he made. Everything is connected to everything else through a series of virtual gears and pulleys and shafts. You have little, little spinning worm gears. You can see all the detail. This actually moves. And it works like a real thing. We wanted to make sure that the audience knew which families of characters were associated with each location. So we put their sigil in that location. We wanted the sigil to be the main gear that is powering each castle. And that motivates the entire animation. As new major locations come into play, over the course of the season, they come into play on the map. Over the course of the different episodes, you should be able to glean a lot more information if you're looking for it. This map will evolve with the show and hopefully into future seasons. We put everything that we possibly can into the title sequence to make it as great as it can be. It's just such a visually rich and stunning credit sequence. It's the kind of thing that people are going to watch over and over again for the pure joy of just seeing the crazy genius that went into the map.